Hey guys, it's me, Zell, and we are here with another episode of Ahsoka. We're on episode 7, or part 7, and last episode we left off with them, Sabine, uh, seeing Thrawn and Ezra. So that was a big reveal, and um, Ahsoka's coming to town, to this planet. Balin's got big plans with the historical you know, Dathomir witches. Something is here that he thinks can potentially be powerful to end this ever returning war between the Empire Republic, Empire Republic, whoever's being the governmental power in charge. Basically the ebb and flow of good and evil. Um, so that's still a mystery. Um, will Shin or will she not continue on with Balin's plan or be off-putted and in, in turn her back on him and destroy her master. She seems a little bit unsure. And then we, again, Ahsoka's coming. Throng's trying to prepare for that. Don't underestimate the Jedi, as they've been trying to say. Balin and Shin have been sent, in some regards, to go hunt down Sabine and Ezra. But ultimately, there's either They'll be destroyed, destroyed. They will be left behind on this planet where there's no return, apparently, because it's where the Pergil die. <laughs> and yeah, so a lot to go from, but you guys all know that, I'm sure. So that's what we're hoping to see. So I'm excited, let's get to it. simply cannot allow a general of the New Republic security forces to go around acting like this is still a rebellion. This is a government, and it has rules and laws which General Syndulla seems to have no problem bending to fit her personal job agenda. is to protect the people of this Republic. And that is exactly what I was doing, in the best way I know how. And you protected the New Republic by ignoring direct orders. No, I protected the New Republic by ignoring you. Mm -hmm. She had a little... Satisfied Can smile we there. At least agree that General Sindula's actions brought to light that there was an incident on Satos. An incident, yes. No but word this from report Soka. Reads like a child's fairy tale. Jedi. False Jedi. Star maps, star whales, distant galaxies. Honestly, are we to believe any of it? Morgan Elspeth was leading a coordinated effort by the Imperial Remnant. Objection! Imperial Remnant. Such a Sensational term. There is no proof. Of Why are you so anti-Hera? You must be a spy. What about the conflict on Mandalore? Traitor. Exactly my point. Gideon was a warlord acting on his own. There is no proof of a greater conspiracy and thus no immediate threat to this Republic. If Thrawn returns, that will change quickly. <laughs> I if. motion that General Sandula be court-martialed for disobeying Whoa. a direct order. Oh, how rude. We know who that is. Identification. I do not need to show you identification. I am C. 3 Pierre. Welcome. Honored Chancellor, with respect, I am here on behalf of Senator Leia Organa. May I speak? By all means. <laughs> I've not been so happy to see 3 PO. The Honorable Senator Organa has become aware of a, an unfortunate situation and wishes to present this data transcript, which she hopes may resolve the matter. I object in the strongest terms. Bro! Thank you. Who are you fighting for? As I was about to say, the what are you transcript objecting? shows that Senator Organa personally sanctioned General Sindula's reconnaissance mission to CITOS. Oh. Being regrettably unaware that Senator Ziono had held a vote against such court a mission. cannot admit evidence of this kind from a mere droid. What? What? <laughs> yes, well, Senator Organa is willing to overlook Preach, this shopper. step, but asks that you address any further concerns to her directly in her role as leader of the Defense Council. Mm. Well. That seems to settle the matter. Unless you remain unsatisfied, Senator Sieno? No, Madam Chancellor. Well, we have friends in high places, and that's because they used to do a mission. 
when Thanks. little baby Leia, remember? Well, it is my programming and my pleasure to be of service, General. I don't know what you and Leia are playing at, but I know she did not authorize your mission. <laughs> she did. Eventually. <laughs> How real is the threat of Thrawn's return? We have to prepare for the worst. And hope for the best. Hope. Oh, here they come. <laughs> Training. Don't you tire yourself out? How is there a hollow projection? In this war, you will face more than just droids. Oh, it's just a... General Grievous, Asajj Ventress, Ventress, even Count Dooku. You can face any one of them on the battlefield. As your master, it's my responsibility to prepare you. So practice these forms often. Or at least more than I do. <laughs> if we get separated or something happens, you need to be able to make it on your own. Don't be afraid. Just remember what I taught you and trust your instincts. I love seeing him in that. And I know you can do this as well. They made 20 or more of these recordings. Wow. This Aww. was his last one. Very thoughtful. I never realized. Aww. He was a good master. Did you need something? I feel like she's been opening up more about him ever since that. I think the may be reaching the end of their journey. If we have indeed traveled to another galaxy, our star charts will be useless. She came here with the enemy. We find the enemy, then we find Sabine. Direct and to the point, as always. Well, that's my stuff. This is it. We are exiting hyperspace. Now. That's right. They're supposed to destroy. Something's wrong. They're getting destroyed. I am detecting multiple objects in our path. Let's get out. Do they have bombs out there? Perhaps we are safer in here. Just a giant. Holy heck, that minefield. I'm sure it hurts, but you're gonna need more than that. It's an imperial minefield to point around the arrival. At least the whales are providing some cover. You had to say something. <laughs> I'm being optimistic. Can't you, like, go straight up and get out of it instead of going straight towards the planet? There's gotta be. Well, we found the enemy. Yeah, we're there they are. So I wonder where they went. But I'm glad they're okay. Well, that's one. It would seem as a good time I was alive and well after all. Here's everything the Inquisitorial database had on her. I almost sense a bit of fear. The master was General Anakin Skywalker. Yes. Or maybe it's just admiration. Admiration for the that. The Admiral has only the one starship. Great Grand Admiral. Our fighters have already engaged the target and pursued them into the debris field. Withdraw the fighters and have them stand by. Why not that allow them to That character's so interesting. There's no need to waste our resources. Oh, there they go. Oh, their little hover pods. Cute. I no. never really thought about how much I've missed. I'm still trying to process everything you told me. The Empire was defeated. Battle of Endor. The Emperor died. 
That's what people say. There's a new republic. Zeb's training recruits, and Hera's commanding. Shit. I missed everything. Ahsoka took me on as her apprentice. She what? Why? I mean, congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> really? Go on. No, no, that's great. I, I, makes sense, of course. You, you trained a little before, back when I was first learning. I remember. Yeah, so where is Ahsoka? Is she coming? That's complicated. Yeah. Does she think she's still alive, potentially? Or she just maybe doesn't know or doesn't want to say? Hmm. Great mothers, I'm in need of your assistance. We are at your service, my lord. Ahsoka Tano lies hidden within the graveyard. Find her? Yes, Grand Admiral. I see her. Uh oh. The Jedi is there. They found oh. us. Don't worry. I know where we're going. Wonderful. So, on our way. <laughs> I feel like I need to move around with them. <laughs> No, don't hurt the naughty. Naughty and naughty. Contact thrown. Kill Sabine Wren and Ezra Bridger. Then take your place in the coming empire. You won't help? Your ambition drives you in one direction. My path lies in another. Ah. So he's making a choice. One parting lesson, Shin. Impatience for victory will guarantee defeat. If Lord Balin proves capable, we may yet win the day. The Balin's going off in his own direction. I wonder if they have defensive. Oh, they should make them go on their own. Oh. What? Uh -oh. Charming. Any real weapons? They're peaceful people. Peaceful? Fine. You didn't mention defense. Whoopa, whoopa. They're in defense mode. Get inside, I'll handle this. Oh, here Ahsoka comes. Lock the door. We'll be fine. Go. Oh, he's in there. Sweet baby boy. Won't need to land. Oh, not this again. Yes, this again. Once I'm on the ground, draw the fighters away. Yes, yes, of course. Just remember what happened last time. You got the timing wrong? And didn't I feel terrible? No! <laughs> I feel terrible. Three, two, one. Oh, that's fun. Oh. Well done. I was expecting you. 
is a surprise. Didn't expect to see you again. Disappointed? No. However, I can't allow you to interfere. I don't have time for this. That I know. Take it. You keep it. Oh. What? I don't need it. Besides, you've been training. <laughs> Very funny. No, I'm serious. Take it. I gave it to you. It's yours now. Oh my god. Please take a blaster. No. The force is my ally. That's all I need. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna need more than that. <laughs> okay. Look him, little mature boy. Classified boy. Ooh, monk style. <laughs> Throwing out kitchen tools. Oh, bro. You singed my hair. Close. Bro, what? You're gonna fight her? Ooh, she angry. Okay. It's not looking good for you. So, like, confident. Take her now. Well, that was silly. Don't defeat me. Perhaps. Music. I don't have to. Oh, snap. Yeah, she's like, I just have to distract you. Keep you away. <laughs> Loser. Took your mount. <laughs> Our sight is short one mercenary. Mm-hmm. Where's Bell and Scott? Ooh, that was cool. Them. Wait, wait, wait. We could talk. <laughs> or we could just. We, don't you want to take us as prisoners? As prisoners? Huh? Or, Fire! Or... Oh, here she comes. That was cool. That was a cool entry. Oh. Bro, he just went on and said, this gun's mine now. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Commando style. What a rare sight. Almost like the Jedi of old. He kind of likes the challenge, doesn't he? These are unfortunate, but acceptable losses given the absence of Lord Bale. One might even call this first match with Tano a success. Mm. I see only our enemies reunited. What are you Let saying? Let me show you what I see. He's a planner. With our enemy distracted, the cargo transfer is now almost complete. Which means we shall soon leave this forsaken place. Asoka Tano has lost the one thing she could not afford to lose today. Her ride. Uh -huh. Time. Oh. Well, you know. Time is very much on our See... I mean, Thrawn's smart. He's like, whatever. We're gonna, we have bigger plans. 
They are still defeated if they get left behind. What do you think, Shin? Can you take that? Surrender your weapon. I can help you. She's a bit conflicted. Soka. I thought you were dead. And miss this reunion? <laughs> <laughs> Universe works. Guys, getting a feeling. I think I might be going home after all. On what ride? Maybe they think they can ride the Pergal again? Was it? Oh no. It was so good. Oh my gosh. So only one episode left. Oh my gosh. Okay. So do we think they are going to end the episode with them tr with them everyone leaving? Hmm. Or are they going to try to do it at the beginning and then have some stuff towards the end to end up the second season? So many thoughts. Well, here we have lots of cool things happening. I love the fight scenes. Balin broke off on his own. Shin is conflicted still. You know, he's basically saying, go with the Empire. My path is choosing going a different direction. Um, part of her felt abandoned and alone, I guess. Especially in that moment. She's like, what the heck? They pull back. The Empire is abandoning me or my mission my goal was not complete but she also saw the fighting abilities and grace is that the word the open arms of the jedi or whatever you want to call them ahsoka basically gave her a chance she doesn't know this person she just sees another force sensitive person fighting for the other side that potentially has a choice to make as she once did she chose to walk away and go her own way she sees shin as also having that option so very very classy of her i'm honestly loving ezra i think we all had conflictions early seasons of rebels about ezra being annoying people not really enjoying him as character and then i would say by season four the end of rebels people were digging he was mature he was understanding the world his own ability who he was he made that ultimate sacrifice took thrawn out big win for the rebels to defeat the empire and he has continued to mature and grow he's become very wise um i was observing obviously commenting on his fighting in that and even his garb and his nomadic ways you know very similar to in a way kind of obi-wan in the desert nomadic like um but also more maybe qui-gon-esque in the, the spiritual side of the force monk-like ways like his fighting did seem for the most part more like haha take you down i don't know if that was like kill shot like punches or whatever but and obviously he did eventually grab a gun and shoot them down but um just it was an interesting little observation there um he was being respectful saying no i gave it to you that is yours to use and utilize I trust that your training and all that continue to use it as a tool and he trusts that his abilities are that quite the confidence um still has that charisma humor lightheartedness and it actually goes quite well with ahsoka's kind of awakening you know um she, while she's always she has grown and been mature for quite a while she's kind of had that gandalf the white you know enlightenment um, you know, that whole opening up seeming to me about her master, remembering the good ways, who he was, not what he became. 
and even her bond with Sabine and understanding the choices and their and how she reacts and treats that. She's looking back at her master's relationship with her and she's using those positive moments, those skills with Sabine and how she would have wanted to be treated and how she was taught, uh, treated. So that's all interesting. Great. Um, Thrawn, you know, as usual, they were reflecting him very well as a great strategist. He was looking beyond these small losses or whatever. He's like, honestly, you know, it's still a win because guess what? We used up time and ultimately puts us in a place to escape this place. This place is nothing. We've, we've gathered all we needed from it and our goal is out there so he's like in one way or another we're going to defeat them because they're going to be left behind we don't have to kill them because they're not going to be a problem out here and then we have Balin doing still his mystery goal they haven't gone into it as far as i understand he mentioned some sort of vague historical i don't i don't even know it's not like an artifact or anything like that it's just a. so yeah we still don't know so perhaps this next episode would toy with that unless they're just going to leave that open-ended obviously rip to Balin's actor um ray very phenomenal work he's been doing so that'll be interesting to see how that plays out out yeah so we have a, a few ch a few choices i'm actually quite pleased too uh we didn't lose any pergel that's fine if as far as I'm concerned, which pff, again makes sense to me. Those little dinky mines are just like a little mosquito bite biting them, probably. They didn't even seem like they were like damaged. It was more like, eh. Maybe it was more of like a paintball gun or something. I don't know. But uh, they dipped out. They're like, sorry, you're on your own. <laughs> but no hard feelings. And the Nodi, um, no one left. And I'm glad he's like, defensive position, circle up or whatever, round up. And they all have their defensive pods and stuff, so that's cool. So he continues to learn from creatures um, in their ways. I'm just very pleased with the show and looking forward to how they're going to wrap it up. Are they going to leave really big cliffhanger? I feel like it's hard not to. I don't know how they're going to conclude this. I can't see them ending it by like taking Thrawn out. Honestly, I would be disappointed if in one episode in the end that they have Thrawn defeated. I don't see it going that way. I feel like you almost have to have a season two. And I know that people are saying that Dave Filoni is trying to make his universes combined um, in an ultimate ending movie to wrap up all these universes. And that most likely will be what Thrawn's demise and end will come. So... My best guess anticipation at this point is they're going to go in, they're going to try to chase after the ship and they're going to get away with all those things and whatever he's going to do with the Dathomir witches and bodies and all that. Um, but I'm excited for that just in general. I kind of, I want them to go. I want them to do that. I want them to have that successful. I can see, I mean, I don't know if they could do like a radio call to the Pergil. <laughs> because uh, they clearly were okay around there and they dipped out. They didn't like instant die. Ezra can send out a wave and get a per pergil ride back. I don't see it them having their ship like latch on without Thrawn knowing he's way too smart for that. So that's gonna either you're gonna have to like severely take him down, destroy him, or hedge a ride somewhere else for them to get out of there. I just don't see another way. Anyways, that's all about that. That was a lot, but very just fun overall um just further developing the characters and the story um cool visuals um not much more in depth than that and of course the rebellion leia's backing up miss hera in the background and there's definitely something up with ziono is that right is he just one of those jaded senators who's about saving money and not about the heart just logistics or is he a traitor working for the Empire? Would not be surprised there because he's like, oh, hold up. He's he's not very quiet about it, but we'll see. So anyways, guys, thanks so much for being here and watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, the reaction, the video. If you want to continue to show support for the channel and me, don't forget to like the video. Give a thumbs up. That helps both me and the editor of this video and channel, really. Sons of Sun, longtime friend and editor. Thanks to him, this channel exists. And of course, subscribe. That'll be the best way to be alerted when the next video goes live, but also another way to show support. 
Ahsoka is going to be wrapping up soon in one more episode, but we have more things to come in the future. So why not just subscribe and push that button? Because I'm not going to overwhelm your inbox, so there's no reason why not. But with all that said, I appreciate you being here. Hope you're doing well, and I will see you on the next one.